Thanks once again for dropping by the channel. If you like the content, if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe, share the video if you enjoyed, if felt it was useful. Then let's get into this. Going to try and keep this video reasonably short, reasonably sweet. The zone, the UK and Ireland, what's happening? So obviously we all know that we got word, I think it was two or three weeks ago, that the zone was planning to move into the UK market, UK and Ireland. They would start their the zone stream platform for boxing. They would show all the American shows uh, from Golden Boy, from Eddie Hearn, and from Triple G Promotions. They would show all those shows. Now, we don't get those shows uh, for the most part on Sky. We always get the Matchroom shows, but the Golden Boy shows, Triple G shows. Triple G shows, I think we do actually because he's, he's working with Eddie Hearn. But the Golden Boy shows, we definitely don't get unless it's a really, really, really big show, like a Canelo Alvarez fight or something like that. We very seldom if ever get them on uh, Sky and obviously we don't, we're not going to get them on BT Sport obviously because you know they, they don't have to deal with the zone so when we have fights like that we don't get them over here so obviously we'll be getting all the fights over here which is brilliant Um, obviously the UK fights which are on you know Matchroom UK would stay on Sky for now as it stands as it stands now I was excited about hearing about that I think so were a lot of people they were to launch it with Canelo Alvarez versus Billy Joe on May the 2nd, which we, you know, that's, not, that's, that's definitely not happening. Now it's got me thinking, will the zone delay launching their app in the UK and Ireland? Because you'd be very, un look, people will probably do it, but if you're going to purchase an app and start paying a monthly subscription, you're going to want to get something in return. You're not going to purchase an app come May the 2nd if there's no fights in the US or in the UK. Well, I say, I say UK, they won't be in the UK, but if there's no fights in the US, you're not going to purchase an app for boxing that's, you know, what was it, four, five pound a month? I think it's like six euro here. You're not going to purchase an app to start paying for I know it's not a, a massive amount of money, but still, you're paying for something, but you're not getting anything. Are you really going to pay for something and not get anything? You know, for at least a couple of months. God knows how long it'll be. So I reckon, and I think the zone will obviously look at that and think, you know, about subscription based. You know, are they going to hit in? Are they going to get many subscriptions? Because at the end of the day, they were going to put, they were going to launch that app during, you know, the biggest star in world boxing during his big fight, which was going to drive subscriptions. If, if you're going to launch it now when there's no fight going on, there's no big name who you can kind of market it off there's no point in launching that app in may you know they will i reckon we will see the zone in the uk be pushed back until september i reckon it will be golovkin versus canelo tree that's when we'll see the app launch in the uk because it makes no sense it literally makes fuck all sense to launch that app in may if you've no fights on no fighter to sell it with and you're paying for you know a subscription fee for boxing matches that aren't happening you know if they want to dry up subscriptions that's what i think they should do they should move it to september keep the five pound or whatever it is the yeah, five pound deal going and just try and piggyback off golovkin canelo tree because people will tune it people will want to see that fight you know the casuals will probably want to see it more so than the hardcore i'll watch it obviously obviously it's still a good fight um so definitely I think that that is what they should do. Um, obviously we don't know about next year with Sky and you know Eddie Hearn. You know, that's, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We're miles away from that now it seems at this stage. But it's looking unlikely. They haven't announced that in the zone. I'm just surmising that that's what they probably will do. Seems logical as I said because you're trying to drive prescriptions. You're not going to get many. Like I'll put, I wouldn't pay for it if it came in May and there was nothing to watch and there was no fights on it. You know, I'll pay for it obviously when there's fights to watch, but I'm not gonna pay for it when there's no fights to watch. So the zone will probably announce that they will be, you know, delaying launch of the app over here, which, you know, at the end of the day, no one's gonna be complaining. Not that it's a bad idea, it's a great idea, but just that there's nothing to watch, you ain't gonna be paying. You know, I've said it before, I pay a subscription for uh, PDC TV, which is a darts uh, streaming platform, because we get darts on TV, but we get very little. All the the tours that go on at the weekend, like the major, you know, tours, are streamed, and I pay a yearly subscription for that of about fifty quid, and 
This is why I'm happy with the zone coming because the zone come and they take over UK boxing. So if they take over like Matchroom UK and you know all the the main boxing from Matchroom is on the zone, then there is no reason for me to pay well over a hundred quid a month on Sky Sports. You know because I think my Sky package is dear and like Sky alone, Sports alone cost me an absolute rake of money. So apps like this, streaming apps like this. In a lot of times you're actually gaining more because I said I'm a fan of other sports, I'm a fan of Whoopi Darts. You only get, you know, a certain amount of TV darts on Sky and on ITV. And then if you have, you know, PBC TV, PDC TV I should say, you get loads of top quality darts every week and you get the TV events as well on that app. So it does the job, it's a very good app. Um, if you're a fan of darts, PDC.tv. 50 quid a month or quid 50 quid a year and they've frozen subscriptions now and um, like payment of it because of the thing that's going on we don't have any um so i would imagine the zone will follow suit and will do something similar you know that's just my thoughts on this i could be wrong but i wouldn't be at all shocked if we see in the next week or two that the zone announced that they will be delaying launching their app so yeah i try to keep this video as quick as i can don't know how long i've been going on for but i reckon over five minutes so I'm gonna leave it here hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like subscribe of course if you are new and as always i will talk to you